He was 11. He got diagnosed in April of 2004, and he will be 27 this year. He had been sick off and on for four months, taking him for blood work every week. They were trying to say it was mono. He just wasn't getting better. And then that fourth month, his blood work came back, and it was leukemia. We went to the doctors for the consultation on what we were going to do. And the night before that, my husband's father was online all night looking where to take him for the best place. And he called us and said, you need to take him to St. Jude's. We went to the doctors, and you have to be referred by your doctor. So he called St. Jude's, and we got home about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and St. Jude's called us and said, be at Broome County Airport by 4 o'clock. Flight takes off for him to be here. So we went and got in that night, and um, of course he went inpatient. And then we met his doctor the next day, and his doctor said another week, and he would have been gone. He did chemo for three and a half years, and we went back and forth to St. Jude's for the first year, every couple weeks, every month, and then we would go to Syracuse every Monday for him to get chemo while he was home. St. Jude's is like family now. I could call his doctor or his nurse practitioner with any questions, and they would answer. It's amazing. The families that you come in contact with, that you grow very very close with you can't even describe yes it is true we never ever had to worry about a bill they want you to worry about your child it's most important to take care of your child than worry about money or bills it was my comfort zone for a very long time it was very hard to come home because no one understood what you and your family and your child was going through like the people there that you could get close with it was very hard to come home i have two other boys they're both younger daniel and devin the middle one daniel he had to stay back and finish out the school year but he did come and stay with us quite a few times through the first three months because it ended up towards summertime so he could come. My other one was about three, so it, he didn't really understand what was going on. He, he came to visit and he connected with other kids. They both did, actually. They connected with a lot of the other kids and they loved it. St. Jude's is a happy place for children. They make sure that children are in no pain. They make sure there's things going on all the time for the kids to be happy. It's a very happy place. They do everything to keep the children happy. Take a minute to think about if this was your child, your grandchild, your great-grandchild. For a parent to take their child somewhere and not have to worry about anything but the care of their child, you have no idea how important that is for a parent to only have to worry and focus on that. And with donations going to St. Jude, that's what parents can do.